Good morning, everybody, and happy Tuesday. Tuesday means it's a new Feathers podcast day, and today is um, on the podcast. It's a little bit different. I'm actually, um, I did the episode by myself, and there were, um, I actually had a hard time um, scheduling somebody for this specific week. I've got people for other weeks, but could not get them for this week. I don't know, maybe their schedule, people's schedule have been crazy um, like mine. But, um, so yesterday, um, during my morning time, I just really felt like, um, God, God just gave me, um, a sort of list, um, of five reasons why you might be stuck, um, in taking your next step. And so in the episode, I go over those five reasons and then I give you some scripture on how to get unstuck and what to pray from that. And so I think it's going to be um, a good episode. I'm trusting that God is going to use it. It feels always, it feels a little bit weird to do an episode just by myself because it's um, normally a interview kind of style um, podcast. So anyway, um, I hope you get to check that out. I think it's less than 20 minutes. So um Hopefully you get to, to watch that. Uh, but this morning, um, just thinking about a verse that I read this morning, um, and it was kind of funny that it, it popped out um, to me because um, it says Colossians, it doesn't say Colossians, in Colossians 3, 12, it says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. And the reason that... Um, uh, the thing that actually popped out is clothe yourselves, <laughs> clothe yourselves. And the reason I'm laughing is because it reminded me of my kids. So, um, I have one kid in particular that will sometimes, it'll be in the morning and, um, they'll say, mom, can you just, can you put on my sock for me? Can you put on your sock for me? They're totally capable. All of my kids are 12 and above, so they are totally capable of putting on their own socks. And I'm like, no, like put your own sock on, put your sock on, like clothe yourself, clothe yourself. You can do it. And I just, just felt like that was sort of like a message this morning for me. Um, and maybe not for you, but for me, it was like, clothe yourself. Like you need to put on compassion and kindness and humility, gentleness, and patience and quit, you know, waiting for somebody to do it for you. You, um, by the choice of your will, put on these things. Um, and I think sometimes um, we just kind of let life happen and we let our responses happen as they would. But um, Paul is saying here to actually um, intentionally put on these things. Why do we put these things on? Because we are already chosen and dearly loved and we are people of the cross. We are God's chosen people. We are his children. And so we are to reflect him, right? So we are to intentionally put on compassion, um, put on kindness, put on humility, put on gentleness and put on patience or long suffering. We're supposed to bear, it goes on to say that we are to bear one another and forgive one another. And that, that is an intentional thing that we are to do. And um, I love, actually, Paul says this in Romans. Um, he says it almost exactly the same way. In Romans 13, 14, it says, clothe yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ. And God was, ugh. I've got like a cold coming on. I'm sorry. Um, it says, clothe yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ. And then it says, you know, back in Colossians, it says, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. So, it's like when he's saying clothe yourselves with Jesus, he's saying clothe yourselves with his character. And we can know what to clothe ourselves with as we know um, as we know Jesus and we know his character. Um, I was thinking about it when you're talking about putting on, and I actually looked up this, um, this word, this phrase, put on in the original language. And it actually is also used when they're talking about um, putting on clothes. It's literally putting on clothes. So like when they're talking about putting a robe, on Jesus they actually put on they put on like the purple robe so that's like us you know literally you know putting our arms inside and putting on um, putting on these characteristics and the thing that I think is important is kind of like we're putting on Jesus we're putting on Jesus and we can't do this without Jesus um, I think sometimes when we think about this we're gonna like pull ourselves up by the bootstraps and do it ourselves like no you got to have you need Jesus to be like Jesus and we're not gonna be able to do this um, in our own power um, it is something that the Holy Spirit helps us do um, so I think it's like two sides of the same coin we've actually been talking about at church is that there's um, 
you know, there's God's part and then there's man's part. And I think our part is to intentionally um, desire and intentionally want to say, you know, like, Lord, today I want to be compassionate. Today I want to be kind. Today I want to be humble. Um, you know, today I, I want to bear with one another. And then, you know, God's part, I think that he sees that humbleness in that desire and that he empowers us by the Holy Spirit to be able um, to do that. And so today, I guess the message is to clothe yourself. Clothe yourself. Put it on yourself. You can do it through um, the power of um, the Holy Spirit and with Jesus. We can um we can treat people with um, kindness and um, compassion today. And golly, I am preaching to myself. Um, it's so hard to do that sometimes um, when people are um, nasty to you and um, whatever else to you. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about today. I hope you um, get to, um, I hope you get to, again, watch the, uh, not watch, listen to the podcast episode today. Um and uh, let's see, good morning to um, Aunt Kathy. Um, Aunt Kathy was on, and it looks like other people haven't been able to join today, and that's totally fine. Um, I hope you guys are getting to watch this a little bit later, and um, you guys are going to have a wonderful Tuesday, um, and we will see you back tomorrow. All right, love you guys. Bye.